All right, guys, we're back. Here is the instructional video on how to transfer that Spotify playlist into your virtual DJ. Same uh, process will work for Serato, but right now, once again, since I'm a virtual DJ user, that's what I'm gonna be focusing on in this video. So first thing you wanna do is load up Crate Hackers after you import your total library. When you first sign up for uh, Crate Hackers, it's gonna automatically search your laptop and find your music folders. Um, it went into my virtual DJ and pretty much loaded all of them in there, so I got about 28,685 songs in my library on my DJ laptop. Um, all the different artists, different genres, how many duplicates I have, but a lot of the duplicates I found when it comes up, it's 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 counting the intro edits and non-edited, um, explicit versions all as a duplicate. So this really isn't correct, um, and I don't wanna delete those. There are ways to delete the duplicates, but I'd be afraid to delete some of the remixes and stuff that I have, so I just ignore that. So anyways, so getting back to the topic, um, you wanna import the Spotify list. So first thing you do is you're gonna bring up Spotify, and you're gonna find the playlist you wanna import. Um, to Virtual DJ. This is one a bride supplied to me um, last week for her wedding. So we'll use this as an example. So she has 96 songs in here. If I was to type that out, that would take me quite a while to type all those up and put them in a playlist on Spotify or on uh, Virtual DJ. So the way to do it on here, the quickest way is to go to the three dots right here, click those, hit share, copy link to playlist. All right, that's copied to a clipboard. Then you're gonna switch over to your Crate Hackers. You're gonna go down to Spotify Import and then Import from Spotify List. Click on that one. There's different ones to do, but we wanna do the Import from Spotify. Then you're gonna click in the Spotify link, go up here to Edit and Paste. And then you're gonna go down here. Once it pops up, there it is, Wedding Dancing Playlist. That's the same as Wedding Dancing Playlist. There you go. And then you're gonna hit Next. And right now it's looking through your database, not downloading them, it's looking through your actual database on your DJ computer to find all the songs. Now keep in mind if you have multiple versions of a song, like for instance, Mr. Brightside, I have some remixes of it, intro edits, uh, edited version, non-edited versions. Typically what I've found from using this is the first one listed is usually your most common one, the radio version. Um, so you can actually go to the top here and hit select first, and that'll give you the first version of each song listed for all the songs if you have multiple versions of each song. Otherwise, you can just hit select all and it'll import all of the songs, all the Mr. Brightsides. And then in Virtual DJ, when you add the folder, you can just go in there and delete the ones you don't want. Um, I prefer to do select first. That usually works pretty good for me. So I'm gonna do that. Select first. Now it's gonna select the first song um, of Mr. Brightside. And then any other ones that are more than one version, it'll take the first one listed. This runs for a little bit right now, processing all the tracks. Once that's done, I'll show you what to do next. All right, that's done, and then you can actually have a magic sort. I think that puts them in a order of best for mixing and stuff like that, but I do it myself. I really don't want AI doing that for me. So next up, we're gonna do export after that list is done, and there you go. So it's gonna export. Enable legacy M3U support. So I'm gonna show you how to turn that on in Virtual DJ. If you've never uh, messed with that at all, it's automatically defaulted to no, to be off. So you wanna turn that on. So I'm gonna show you how to turn that on in a second. But right now I already have it on. So once that's all set, I'm also gonna export PDF because it's showing me that it found 82 files that I have. So I'm missing 14 tracks. So I wanna know which tracks I'm mixing. So I'm also gonna export a PDF list of these songs. So when I'm done, I'm gonna hit export and it's gonna ask me where to save that list of songs. Um, this is for the PDF, not for the import. So this is just gonna give me the list of songs so I know which ones I'm missing. Um, I'm just gonna save it on my desktop. So there you go, I'm gonna save that. And then it also exported the crate to for Virtual DJ. So now you're gonna to go to your Virtual DJ, bring that up, and then Right here, it says M3U list. You're gonna click on that, open it up, and right there, boom, that's the one we just did. Wedding dancing playlist, wedding dancing playlist. No typing, I didn't have to type all these songs out, so it saved me a ton of time. Now, the thing to get to bring this up, the thing you need to activate is to go into the little wheel up here and go into options and type in M3U and make sure all three of these boxes are checked yes. They're defaulted to no, so make sure those are all yes, and once you do that, this crate right over here or folder, whatever you wanna call it, is automatically gonna pop up in here. And then anything you do in Crate Hackers 
And once you import it to your virtual DJ, automatically it's gonna pop up in here. So you don't have to do any dragging, nothing like that automatically pops up. And then you're good to go. Save you a ton of time. I love this. It's really gonna be a game changer for me rather than sitting at my computer on Thursdays uh, before that weekend's weddings, typing up all these songs. It's just gonna save me a ton of time. So love it. And then it also made me the PDF that I was talking about. Let me close out of all these. Here is the PDF right here. That's gonna have all the songs and I'll be able to match up which ones are missing just so I could add those in. So pretty cool, makes you a cool playlist like that. Um, so that's my video for today. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya.